Hey, good morning, homesteaders and YouTube friends. Hey, this morning I thought I'd show you how you can make an omelet. Uh, we're just going to make a simple mushroom and um, chive and uh, cheese omelet this morning. First thing you want to do is start out with a 10-inch um, non-stick skillet. We're just going to put a little bit of butter in there. Get that going here. And we're going to let that melt. Put some mushrooms in there and saute them for three or four minutes. Not going there. You don't want to do that on medium heat. Maybe a little bit higher than that. Now we got our mushrooms going. It's always better if you buy the bulk, bulk mushrooms versus the ones in the packages. They can get kind of slimy inside those packages. And generally, I've found that the bulk mushrooms that you just pick out one at a time are cheaper per pound. For instance, this morning I went over to the store. These were $2.99 a pound. The ones in the package were, um, I believe, 8 ounces for $3.89. So you can do that math and see that this is a much better, much better deal. Okay. So we got our mushrooms going. Just gonna put a lid on them real quick, kind of speed up the process. Let them saute and steam just a little bit. Now it's important to have a non-stick skillet for this um, when you get doing your omelet. So, all right, we're gonna take three eggs. I'm going to take three eggs. I got these three eggs this morning, so they're fresh this morning. I like to crack them on a hard surface versus a edge. Um, I find I get less shells in them that way. I just kind of give it a tap and turn the egg a little. Kind of makes the fault line of the shell go all the way around. Then you can just simply pull it apart. Drop the egg in. Of course, these egg shells will go back in the uh, chicken bucket to be fed back to the chickens so they can have calcium to make us more eggs. They need that calcium for their egg shells. Alright, so there we go. Three eggs. This will be a three egg omelet. Me and the husband will split this morning. We're just going to whip those up really good. Alright, that's about right. All right, now we're just going to grate up a little bit of cheese. This is probably about two two ounces of uh, Colby Jack cheese. Just going to grate that up real quick with my old grater. I think I got this grater from my from my mom, and I think she might have got it from my grandma. But it's kind of rusty, but it works really good. You can get it done fast. You don't have to use any power plug anything in, having anything clutter up your counter. Alright, and here we got our cheese grated up. Alright, let's check on our mushrooms. Looks like we can give those a quick toss. Coming along really good. And I might just add a little bit of water to those to steam them up a little bit. A little water in there. Alright, well those are steaming up. I'm just going to run out real quick and get some fresh chives out of the garden. And, uh, you can just keep that on the saute and mushrooms there, cameraman. I've got my husband helping me out this morning with the filming. So I will be back shortly with those chives. All right, I'm back with the chives. I'm just going to give them a quick rinse. A quick rinse. We're going to get a bowl of cheese in. Alright, 
some beautiful spring chives. I like to sharp the, uh, cut those with a really sharp knife so I can get a very fine cut. Doesn't get any fresher than this, folks. Beautiful spring chives, eggs laid this morning. Even the mushrooms are fresh. I just went over to the grocery store and they just got the shipment in. Okay, that's probably more than I'll use. All right, the mushrooms are looking good. You can probably take those out. That is beautiful. Okay. Get a little bowl to put those in. Get them out of our way for a minute. Ready to start our omelet. Let's get a little bit more butter here. Not too much, maybe a tablespoon. Give our eggs another whirl. I just believe you can't make a good omelet without butter. I know that maybe you don't want to eat butter all the time, but make a good omelet I think you need some butter so all right so we're gonna pour our eggs in there just kind of make sure they're even on the pan there give them a few cracks of sea salt you know one thing that if you do a lot of cooking you want a good sea salt cracker, a good sea salt meal. Um, I'll put a link to the one that I use in the YouTube um, video notes today and uh, also give it a few cracks of fresh cracked pepper. All right, you can see the eggs starting to solidify a little there. You're spooning your your mushrooms onto one half of your omelet. You just want them in a single layer. You don't want to fill your omelet up too much. That's the secret of getting a good omelet. So we'll just put these down. Probably won't use everything that we sauteed, but we'll use those in something else. Maybe put them on a pizza or something later today. Maybe another one right here. Okay. Now we're going to take our cheese. And we're just going to sprinkle a little cheese over the mushrooms. I'm not going to use all our cheese. We're going to save some of that for the top of the omelet when we flip it. Alright. Sprinkle a few chives in the middle. I love chives because they give it that oniony taste, but they're not too strong. All right, now let's just take a look at the underside of this. No, it's not quite ready yet. So what we're going to do, I'm going to put a little bit more water in the pan to steam it. Just a little bit right here on the side. And we're going to put the lid on. And you can see that it's steaming. It's going to solidify those eggs. Um, without burning the bottom and as soon as they get set firm we will flip that omelet. That's going to help melt the cheese to the steam in there. I'll we'll just leave that for a few minutes. You can see it's starting to solidify around the edges there. Cheese is starting to melt. Alright, that looks pretty good. It's pretty set up cheese is well melded. I'm simply going to take this, this rubber spatula here and we're just going to give it a fold. Oh, that's browned nicely. Just kind of move it to the center of the pan here. I'm going to put on a little bit more cheese. I'm 
just a sprinkle, cover it pretty evenly. Put on a few more chives to make it look beautiful. I'm going to get a little bit more water to steam that with. And you're just going to steam it long enough for that cheese to melt, which shouldn't take too long at all. You can make your omelets with all kinds of different things. You can put in bacon, you can do sausage, uh, you can put in ham. We've even used uh, diced spam. We don't eat spam all the time, but it's spam's pretty versatile. If you um, fry up a little diced spam, you can put it in an omelet. It's really delicious. You can use spinach. There's just all kinds of things that you can do with an omelet. You can use Colby Jack cheese. You can use Swiss cheese. You can do whatever you like. And there you go. A beautiful, cheesy, chivey omelet with mushrooms inside. So if you like this kind of thing, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, if you know somebody who likes these kinds of things, maybe you can share the channel with them. And I will put uh, links in the uh, show notes today so that you can um, have access to all of the tools that I've used today and uh, any information that I might have shared if you need to find it. So anyway, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a wonderful day. Mmm, doesn't that look good? Bye now. It teases as it breathes, I feel it in my knees. To whom I please, sing it